so we have seen that a ring which is a cycloalkane is an isomer of an alkene of the same number of carbon atoms because you don't reduce the number of carbon atoms or increase them so cyclohexane will always be an isomer of hexene cyclopentane will always be an isomer of pentene and like so on cyclobutane will be an isomer of butene so this type of isomers isomerism between a ring be between a ha huh, a ring and a straight a chain is called ring chain isomerism this ring chain isomerism can be of another type suppose you have this or rather this is hexane cyclohexane and we add a double bond to one of the bonds so this becomes cyclohexene now you see cyclohexane had a formula c 6 h 12 but here since we have introduced a double bond we must have needed to remove two hydrogens from here so the formula changes to c 6 h 10 and what c6h10 doesn't it look similar to cnh2n minus 2 n is 6 h is 2 into 612 minus 2 10 and what is this formula this is the formula for alkynes so cyclohexene in this case c6h10 is hexane so cyclohexane hexene is an isomer of hexane so when you have a cycloalkane it is an isomer of a straight chain alkene when you have a cycloalkene it's an isomer of a straight chain alkyne and a cycloalkyne can be i mean there can be another double bond over here somewhere that that we we'll leave out for now so this is basically your ring chain isomerism which means um isomerism or we can say 
सेम मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला बट डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला बट वन इज अ रिंग एंड अनादर इज अ चेन सो यू सी दैट these are the two types of isomerism we are going to learn about there are more types of isomerism but we'll not go into that the important thing about ring chain isomerism is when you're given the formula suppose c 6 or no not c 6 C seven H fourteen, and you are asked to identify what type of compound is it. You will first try this. N is seven, and two N is fourteen, so it's in the form C N H two N. So it should be. and alkene but you see an alkene shares a common molecular formula with a cycloalkane so when you're given this formula and asked which type of compound it is it can be an alkene it can also be a cycloalkane and when you are given this formula so this can be heptene you don't need to remember the name it can be heptene or cycloheptene so c7h12 c n is 7 so i'll just directly write 2n minus 2 is 12 so it is an alkyne but an alkyne shares a, a common molecular formula with a cyclo alkene so this can be an alkyne as well as a cycloalkene so this is the important thing which you should remember when you are asked these type of questions